what's going on everybody just got in from the midwest monster i'm exhausted it was long i had mixed emotions uh day one uh towards the end it started lot picking up where i started having like a better experience there um we'll talk a little bit about my timeline there we'll see the pickups at the end here give you guys a little explanation onto some of this stuff a little story with it uh, talk a little stuff that I've noticed at the show, and that might be about it, really, for this video. I'm going to try to keep it a little bit quicker than the previous one I recorded you guys did not see. Alright, so got to the monster yesterday morning. Thank you to the Hilton, or the Hilton, the Hampton Inns up there. They hooked me up. They put my briefcase into their safe up there uh, to keep it store, uh, secure while I took about 15 cards, maybe, into the monster, roughly. Just in case I want to do a cash deal and trade for a Jordan Auto. That was the main part thing going up there. Michael Jordan or Tiger Woods Auto. Did you guys see in the video? $7,000 spent. I never label my videos like that. I never really say how much I spent. But I, I wanted to kind of put this out to give everybody an aspect of how the big shows go and stuff like that with me. So... Let's, I'm going to start off saying I took a certain amount of money up with me, and I came home with $1,600 more. Um, a lot of that, I did a couple of sales during day one, and then trade night, I sold a lot. Everything that I've been pretty much working on with the PSA, grading, the eBay, uh, not the eBay sales, the PSA grading that I took up in there, the whatnot steals and all that had some one big deal go down with uh, some representatives from I think they said they were from Pull Wax. Uh, they they hooked me up because there's a couple cards I didn't want to really budge on and some other stuff I had some you know wiggle room on too. So it made sense at the end. A lot of other people came by and man, it was crazy. I mean, by the time Roth cards came to me. I didn't really have anything hot left in my case, and I left stuff in the hotel room because I didn't want to bring it with me. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. So that just gives you an explanation on the show. When you see the big money that was spent, it was because I sold a lot there, and I wanted to buy some stuff for basically myself, some to grade, some to have for showcases. Uh, overall, show. Very good. As I told Jeff, who runs the show at the Midwest Monster from JJ All-Stars, probably his best one of all three. I really enjoyed it, and we'll talk a little bit about that. So I got there, 11 a.m. VIP in. It took me about four hours to walk around very quickly. Main focus, Michael Jordan Auto. Found about seven of them. Every stinking one was overpriced. I was even offering guys... The last sold price. Just to get number 23. I got very, very discouraged. So I switched focus to Tiger Woods. Came across one, two, three, four of them. Same exact story. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to get anything that I really want here. At that time frame, I completed three deals. They were nothing crazy. Uh, maybe a total... 1200 spent by that time frame. So I was making my way back around. You guys going whatnot. I never run into Polo. Polo 58. Went over and introduced myself to him and everything. We were talking. He picked up my Mosaic Gold uh, pick it all, uh, out of 10. And the Devontae Smith Select White PSA 10. And then I end up selling... I brought with me two Jordan. He didn't buy these. This was a little bit before him. Two Jordan um, Kobe East and West PSA nines that came back in. So at that time, for I was feeling pretty good, you know. Uh, had some stuff sold. Everything I bought so far was pretty much not out of my pocket. Still had some cash to spend. So I hung out with Polo for a little bit. Went back to the hotel. Um, they gave me, the hotel gave me a recommendation of Donati's Pizza. Ordered it. Phenomenal. Man, it was some little pepperonis, you know, like about yay big. Yeah, no, I'm not like doing a thing to you guys, you know, with that. Everybody was joked for when I was like in fourth grade. But um, really, really good. Rested for about two hours. Went back into the show. 
did at least one purchase. And I sent some text out. I'm like, I did a thing. Went over to show Cora. He was set up with a guy. Um, left from there, went to trade night. When I got to, I did Ubering for all this stuff. Once I got up there, I was just beat from driving. And got to trade night. It was kind of dead, so I went off onto the side. There was like a bar and like a little like cut in that went to like where it was like a little kitchen. So sitting there, turned on Polo Stream. I was like, man, I'm about to see if he cares if I come across and I'll give him a help streaming because he was in a hotel across the road. As I was sitting there just to check the score of the game, people started coming, looking, going through my cases. Heck, by the time Roth cards come to me, I had really nothing left for me even to offer on to. It was, I mean, picked through. Uh, thank you for everybody who came through. We made deals with on trade night. I appreciate it. Moved a lot of stuff. Got some new stuff in, as always. Uh, got to meet some new people. Dealers out of uh, Tampa, St. Louis. I'm not too sure where the other guy was from, he told me. But, you know... Connections through IG, phone numbers, all that stuff. So it's always good because now you got more like different areas that I can rotate product through that I know they'll do better on than I can. I can't get rid of it here. Maybe I can get some of theirs. Or we just sell back and forth, you know, stuff like that there. So very, very good positive. Uh during trade night. Uh Jeff from JJ All Stars came in, bought everybody pizza. Really, really cool. Um he was he was whoop tired. Uh, we stayed till about a little after midnight. I was out there with Polo, Indy Breaks, and, uh, one of their buddies. I don't know if he streams or not on there, so I don't want to throw out his name and stuff. He might. I think he said he tried at one time. He doesn't do it anymore. But, uh, we were out there talking for a while. Got Uber, came home. Back to home. Back to the hotel. Shows I'm tired. And then moved into the next day today, which I made some insane pickups. You guys will see that at the very end here. And came home. Overall, very good show. Uh, showed, uh, oh, I should say the last like hour before I came home, I sat down with Corey at his table. Thank you to him and the gentleman that he was with, Todd, for letting me sit there. I was whooped. This old man with a slip disc in the back and the neck, both, was done. Appreciate it, guys, for letting me just chill there and hang out with you guys for about an hour. Um. So, yep, came home after all that then. So, overall, like I said, very, very good show. I showed Jeff my last pickup of the day, which you guys will see very last, too. And I said, I was just shocked by it. And just complete, utter shock that it, well, I picked up at last. I don't want to spoil it for anybody. So, you guys ready for pickup time? Pickup time, we're already in the video eight minutes. I'm just jaw-jacking away. All right. I no specific order except for this stack here. We'll go to that last. There's a gentleman that does hockey up there. He offered me to come. If I would have stayed later today, I would have went back to him because he told me I'd come behind his table and look through all of his hockey. He always has good stuff. Zegras, Young Gun. Now, the lighting was in and out in different areas there. I didn't want to blacklight the cards with him. But it was just miscut up here after I came home. So, be something for DC. The Allure Sidney Crosby. I was hoping to grade it. And somehow I missed a mark on it right in here. So, another DC. But Cider looks like a strong nine, possible ten candidate, so we'll send that in. I know, it's hockey. All right, I'll throw his Instagram up here, even though he's hardly ever posts. <laughs> Anthony Edwards scripts, this is from John. Um, I forget what his uh, thing is on Instagram. I just know when I see it, but it's popping up by right now. All right, Anthony Edwards scripts. I wanted to get an Anthony Edwards auto. He hooked me up on this because we always do deals back and forth. I appreciate it, sir. I really do. Thank you. Um, Before I get to this deal here, a little quick story. I was at a table, and I think I binge bought this just because in spite. Guy had a Trevor Lawrence tie-dye select RPA. It looked in really, really good shape from what I could see. So I was waiting for him to complete the deal. Kid, probably in his 20s. I can say that because I'm now late 40s. Oh, my gosh. Um, come up, and he's like, oh, can I see these? Just interrupted the guy, and he started pulling stuff out. He's like, oh, yeah, and, that, and those two Trevors down there, too. I'm like, I've been standing here the whole time waiting to see him. I was so ticked off. I just about face took off, guys. 
That's when I found this guy. He cut me a good deal. I can't even keep Sangoon at any show. He just go quick, 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 gone. So I picked up a Revolution Auto of him. I can't remember if this is anything crazy. Asia version. And a Joe Montana. This is from 2002, Playoff Honors. I like the old school stuff with Montana Autos. And you guys can see that's the old indention that they put into the card for like a stamp or a seal. So pretty cool. Picked those up. He cut me a heck of a deal. He actually seen what happened and just hooked me up. I'm pretty sure that's why he gave me a little more of a discount. Alrighty. Let's see. Alright, this gentleman here up next. They were always set up down Louisville. And they are bringing me a Kenny Pickett Red, White, and Blue Prism PSA 10 next show. Um, they always cut me a very, very good deals up there. And I'm really happy with what I pick up. So up first, a Herbert PSA 910. This is from uh, Second Year National Treasures. And no way am I telling you when I say this to go buy Justin Herbert autos, okay? I sold all my non-graded ones at the show. Which is like a gold standard and an XR. But I think he's not looked at very well <laughs> with all the other rookie quarter or all the other quarterbacks out there. And this guy can play some football. So pick this up. This is going to be one of the ones that's going to get put away. It won't be for sale for a while. They threw in a deal this. And like I said, this was a very, very good deal. I probably won't talk much on prices here uh, just because I don't want to give away what people sell stuff for up there. Because some people might give me a little bit better deal than others up there just because I'm a repeat buyer. <coughs> oh, my voice is cracking, guys. I've been talking for two days. All right. Kenny Pickett, storybook, playbook. I believe this was out of 100. No, 49. Out of 49. My bad. I know why I had 100 in my head. That was really the average sale onto these. So pretty cool for the Kenny Pickett collection. I do appreciate him doing that for me. And then... Thinking about the PSA 10 red, white, and blue, which will be home in two weeks. You guys will see that from the Louisville show. Speaking of Louisville, the gentleman you guys always see, he has a son with him, but he didn't have a son up there for this show. Um, you see me always flipping through the cards and the videos. He was up there. So, pick this up today. Heck of a deal. Thank you again, sir, as always, for the deals. John Stockton, NT, this is 13-14. Yeah, 1314 NT John Stockton out of 49. No, I do not PC, nor do I collect John Stockton. Please don't send me a ton of items because I have two John Stockton autos now. I just a fan of the older stuff it, out there, and I think it's really cool. Two cars to be graded. Can you believe Dominic Wilkins sells so cheap? <laughs> I couldn't believe it whenever we looked this up. This is out of 25 recon going off PSA. Should be a strong nine candidate. Along with a Dwayne Wade. I believe this was out of 35. Got rid of all my Dwayne Wade autos. So I had to pick another one up so I can grade it. Oh, and the final piece of the deal was this. Kevin Durant, Swatch. From Spectra, PSA 9. Anytime I see 9s in Spectra, to me that's 10 because they are hard grades. You know, just like when I see a 9 in Opulence or Gold Standard, I know that's a good grade because most of them come back 8s because of the way they're made. But really cool and happy you onto that. Hey, Wildcat, you should be happy. I had some football in this already. Just kidding, just kidding. He picked something in the comments. I had to say something. I think in the previous video I recorded, I, I hit it earlier and I just thought about it. All right, up next was a deal today. I paid strong on the trout, but the other card he gave me a deal on, so it made sense to both of us. I know Mike Trout Auto. Got it ton of them out there but i like top sterling so i wanted to grab one I always of him in sterling 15 out of 15 and then he gave me a good deal good good deal yellow this is out of five steve young psa 9 for obsidian very very cool i like the patch onto this too which is probably gonna say from nothing oh it's player worn no kidding we got a player worn all right i didn't even notice that till now Day one pickup. I know you guys are probably like, where did he get seven thousand? All this you, you're going to see coming up now. Stephen or Stephen <laughs> Curry Auto. It does say Stephen Curry, but I just my my brain's fried from today. Mosaic Auto. The price that the guy had on, I thought there was something wrong with the card, and so I looked it over and everything, and it was good to go. Definitely a good nine, maybe a ten. 
I don't want to jinx myself on too. It has the normal back stuff on, but the front's clean. This was from Trade Night. Did a little cash and trade onto it. 2010 Triple Threads White Well Drew Brees. I picked this up originally because I thought, well, hey, Sappy's a big Breeze guy. If he wants it, I'll give it to get it out to him because he collects them. If not, I'm holding this to Hall of Fame. You do not see these white whales from football very, very often. And I just wanted to get it. It made sense to me. Really cool piece. Wildcat, look. This is a cool car, dude. Got to admit it. White whale. And these are what they were actually called back in the day. Hey, guys. White whales. Okay, I know we're getting up here close. There's only like three cards left. We're gonna use Kenny Pickett to hide the last two. Polisic auto from Cubic. I have a ton graded to him, so I figured what the heck pick one more up raw just to have. Um I don't know, I'm just a fan of his always have been for a while. And I mean I don't watch soccer, but I just always liked Whenever the players were coming out and stuff, and I'd always hear like a lot of the two soccer breakers. One, I just get into a breaks because we were filling them for razzes and stuff. Like Plistic, I knew Messi, I knew uh, Ronaldo at the time frame, Pele, uh, Maradona, stuff like that there. So for some reason, Plistic was like the new hot kid during that time frame in a way. And so I like picking up his stuff when I can at a good price too. Really, his stuff is really really cheap. All right, I'm going to be no one. I'm going to be getting slammed here in the comments for this. So the next card up, you guys know I sell a whole lot of cards, right? So, but I'm going to use for an example just the one deal I did with what I had in that deal in value that I had invested in. It was about oh. To cover all but four hundred dollars, roughly, of this card. So basically, this next card, I'm in for like four hundred dollars because of what I sold originally earlier that day. Oh, I don't want to show you guys the last one. Wembyama Bowman Chrome U Prospect Autograph. I really, really thought about this. The guy, he's been about sixteen to eighteen hundred high. I know they'll probably drop a little bit, but when they come live, it'll shoot back up. My thoughts were in this on too. It's a big gamble. In no way would I just, you know, in my thought process with cards and everything, would I just take in like uh, the the I spent thirteen fifty on this. This I'll give you guys the price on. Would I have just like, hey, out of my regular like daily paycheck paid for this? Because to me, it would have been a big, bigger gamble. With selling some cards and only having to be in those cards for 400 into this card, it's not bad. Because it's basically the price that I sold those cards for what I was into for that. Take that money and that deal and then subtract the difference onto it. Yeah, it, it made sense. So if this guy becomes the next great out there generational talent, which I've now heard between him and Bedard for hockey, it might be exciting. I thought about Giannis when he came out. I had a whole ton of his redemption autos and stuck them in a box when they came in because I was moving at the time frame. Boy, I was so glad I did that now I think about it. If it, if it does hold, this guy is really, really good in the league. I watched video clips of him for a while, uh, some of his stuff on YouTube, how well he's spoken at, how his training goes. This could be a big card. It could be. I don't mind being in it for a small gamble, so that's the only reason why I grabbed it, to be honest. It was one of those things to where I also learned that these were only, also I should tell you guys, all of these are really only out of $4.99. You have to go on Cardboard Connection to really read because I thought, how many of these did they produce? A thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand of them? Kind of crazy on to it. All right, final card. I got a lot of ground to pick up, huh? Probably about three thousand dollars, roughly, right? So, very end before I went to Cora's table and had a seat for about an hour with him and the gentleman uh, that he was with, uh, Todd. Todd. Keep on 
tell you, I'm really tired. Tongue twisted and everything right now. And I got a pug trying to get on my lap because she probably wants to go out. He w I was looking at his Tiger Woods auto. I was going to make him an offer. Well, he had something he was talking to somebody about. He just picked up in trade night that night. And I was like, ooh, I like that even better. So the gentleman left, and I was like, I see that. Looked it over. We talked. We started doing some research. I sent a text out to two other Michael Jordan collectors I know that are more fluent with picking his stuff up than I am. I really kind of like stopped collecting him. I pick up some odds and ends here and there of him, but nothing like real crazy, right? They shot me a t <laughs> the text back after I already purchased it, and boy, I was glad then. I know, Michael Jordan Auto. This is from Fleer Retro. We could not find one sold. We found there was like 8 or 10 BGSs out there. I think the highest was like a BGS 8. Um, I don't think there was a PSA 1. He was looking at PSA. I didn't really look there. We searched all kind databases. Could not find a sold one anywhere. Group B he was in. LeBron was Group A, which was a harder hit. So it makes me wonder how scarce these are because the other ones like group C, D, and E, I think E was like super like, I think Larry Bird was in D or E. And there's a lot of birds out there you'll find out there selling for like $125 to $150 and stuff. It makes you wonder how scarce these are. I did it. I now have completed number 23. The It's like a big weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Being saying I could... I, Completed the task I set out a long time ago to do. Very, very happy. This is a lot of bluing to it. It has a little bit of whiting on uh, one, two, two of the corners. Back's really good shape, too. I'm really not wanting to send this in at all because I'm probably going to get an aid on to it. Um, I think it's just going to stay like this. I do have a few raw Jordans like this, like uh, that aren't grading. And, yeah, pretty, pretty decent on to it to end the day. Showed a couple people. I was like, I finally did it because some of the guys knew the story behind it. And I was like, I did it. When they shot me the price back, I was like, you're kidding me. And had a phone conversation as I was uh, driving away to get to the gas station to one guy. And he had a little more knowledge on to it. And he's like, dude, those are hard to find. They are really, really hard to find. He's like, you could walk the whole national and you might be lucky to see one or two. And he's like, they, there's not many out there. They're not serial numbered at all. Um, and, wow. Just a, I hate you know, always using the word blessing to find it because it's used so much out there. But I'm just shadowed with overjoy to be able to f say I completed what I started many, many years ago. Probably 15 years ago, roughly. And Quest is now done. No more needed. I'm done. <laughs> That's it. Finalized. Um, really ecstatic. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments overall. Um, trying to keep this kind of short, but it's a little bit longer video showing a lot of the stuff and talking a little bit about the deals onto it. But other, really, like I said, the biggest ones, the Jordan, the Wembyama, the Curry was kind of a... A little bit bigger one, but it wasn't too huge. The Breeze 101, stuff like that there. Uh, for everybody watching the videos I did deals with, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I had a blast. Polo introduced me to a bunch of people out there. Got to hang out for a little bit with him. Um, seen him before I left out there. I was trying to catch everybody to tell him I'm out. Uh, appreciate everything they did out there. You know, talking, meeting different people. I met some different dealers. I don't know if I talked about this in the uh, beginning because I've done this video twice, but like from St. Louis, uh, Tampa area, you know, it's good to be able to find other people from other locations because when I have product that's stagnant and want to move it, we have a small little group where we'll, you know, flip flop stuff around and trades and stuff just because they're, they're in an area, say like San Francisco area, they could sell, you know, 49er stuff better than I can out here or, oh, just trying to think off the top of my head, like Atlanta area, Kuna stuff, crazy down there, you know, um, where 
I'm in an area where a lot of Indiana stuff sells, Kentucky college athlete stuff, you know, will sell if they went to UK or U of L, and along with Bengals. Um, occasionally, we've got some Titans to come up this way and stuff. So it's good to meet a lot of new people out there, you know, exchange either phone numbers or Instagrams and stuff. So really, really good experience. I will say if you guys ever get to go to one of those uh, shows that happen multiple days, um, I would not say set up at them. But if you can go as a buyer and get to meet people, meet some guys up there that you know and get to hang out, kind of like a little mini vacation away, it was much needed. All right, guys, there and that. I am out. Let me know what you guys think of the video, what my pickups. You guys can roast me on uh, good old Wemby. I'm just going to start calling him Wemby. Uh, other than that, appreciate it as always. I'm out.